This is Yakaolam, the place where I was born. I grew up here. How can I ever forget my brother who was shot full of holes? How can I ever forget my students whose lives so full of promise were taken away in one cruel instant? The Soviet invasion of Afghanistan began in 1979. From that time, Afghanistan has known only war. The great powers and its neighbors have all brought war to Afghanistan for their own reasons. The modern history of Afghanistan is a history of war. In the 19th century, from the north, Tsarist Russia sought to expand into Central Asia. To the west, England controlled India. Afghanistan was the stage between them, upon which they played their great game for the control of Central Asia. England attacked Afghanistan twice and intervened to influence royal succession. Finally, in 1880, England made Afghanistan its protectorate. Then, at the end of the 19th century, England drew a line through the middle of the land of the Pashtun people dividing them between one half who would belong to British India and the other half who would belong to Afghanistan. In 1919, England allowed Afghanistan to have independence, but the border England drew remains unchanged to this day. The Pakistani side of this border is called the tribal areas. The power of the Pakistani government is ineffective within this area. 
and people cross back and forth across the border freely. The first city you reach once you have crossed this border into Pakistan is Peshawar. It is to hear that over two million Afghanis came, crossing the border of the no man's land, fleeing war in their country. And it is here that after the Soviet invasion of 1979, Islamic political organizations were formed to fight the communist government. It is here that Islamic religious students were formed in great numbers and sent to support the Taliban regime. And it is here that guerrillas are trained to return to Afghanistan to fight the American army now. Peshawar is a city inextricably linked with the history and politics of modern Afghanistan. Many camps were built here in Peshawar for these Afghani refugees. More Afghani refugees came to Peshawar than to any other city. There have been many camps here in the past, and there are still many camps here today. Why has war continued for so long without end? Why have so many refugees had to flee Afghanistan to come to these camps? This camp was opened in 1983 and has continued to operate for over 20 years. At its peak, it has housed as many as 2,000 plus refugees. After 9-11, after the American army invaded Afghanistan and drove the Taliban from power, many refugees went back to Afghanistan, but there are still many who cannot yet return home. My family and I live here now. We would like to return to our home as soon as possible, but we cannot. It is impossible. It was in the spring of 2001 that we came to this, the Kewa camp. That year, in early January, the Taliban attacked the snow-covered villages of Yakaolang and defeated the Party of Islamic Unity that had controlled that region until then. The Taliban dragged over 300 men from their homes and killed nearly all of them. Why did you kill them? To this question of a survivor in the village, the officer in charge of the Taliban forces replied, because they were Shiites. We are Hazara and Shiites. The Taliban killed my brother and a nephew before my very eyes. I was miraculously able to survive, and the surviving villagers and I buried the corpses of the people the Taliban had killed. I feared that the Taliban would surely kill me the next time they attacked, so I fled Yakaolang with my family and came to Pakistan. This is how my family and I became refugees here. Now I live here with my wife and three daughters, as well as the wife of my brother and their children. These are the children of my brother. They are my nephew and my niece. These children barely escaped with their lives. The day before the Taliban attacked, 
we were attacked suddenly by the party of Islamic unity. Bullets were shot into our house. My wife covered these two children with her own body to protect them as bullets came through the wall. Finally, the shots became fewer and fewer, but had only a few more come, all three surely would have been killed. My three daughters have lived in this camp much longer than my wife and I. Not just in Yakaolang, but throughout Afghanistan, custom did not recognize women's rights to education and did not even allow women to go out of their houses freely. After the withdrawal of the Soviets, when the village was under the rule of the Party of Islamic Unity, just as later, when it was under the rule of the Taliban, outside rulers limited the freedom of women severely. Even worse, their soldiers would take young girls away and rape them. Rape was a daily occurrence. I feared for my daughters, and so I sent them to the camp in Peshawar. Today, my three daughters are studying in a school run by the organization Rawa in this camp. They are able to receive education that they could not receive in our home village. In Yakaolang, I was a teacher. I taught history and geography. And now, in this camp, I am again a teacher. These students are all children who have also fled their homes for their lives. Almost all have lost their fathers in war. Many have lost both parents. And children born into this camp who have never set foot in their homeland of Afghanistan are increasing. But there are many other children who cannot come to school at all. This is a brickyard right outside the camp. Many families have children working here. The children start working at 2 in the morning. They work until 2 p.m. when they take lunch and rest until 4 p.m. Then they must work another two hours until 6 p.m. Altogether, they work 14 hours a day. In one day, a child can make about 2,000 bricks. The child gets 260 rupees, or about $4. This is just barely enough for a family to live on. And so every day, they have no choice but to return to the brickyard and continue making bricks.
The money that these children bring home is essential income that the family cannot live without. That's why there are so many children who cannot go to school. This is Rawalpindi, a city near Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan. Many Afghan refugees came to this city as well. Children here would get up early every morning to search through the garbage. They would collect discarded paper in the garbage and sell it. One kilo would bring one rupee. One naan bread cost three rupees. It was all they could do to earn enough in one day to buy one naan. And even this could make a difference in keeping a family from starvation. Subsequently, the Pakistani government forced all the refugees to leave, and these children are no longer here. My body does not move normally, and I am slowly losing my sight, the result of torture by the Taliban. I wondered how much longer I could continue to teach. So I thought, while I can still teach, I must tell children the history of their country, a history soaked in the blood of war, a history that I myself have lived through. I thought that this was my duty as a teacher, and so today I have decided to tell this to my students. This is my home, Yakaolang. The Himalayas and the Kalakom Mountains give way in the west to the Hindu Kush Mountains. Yakaolang is located amidst these mountains. It is the home of the Hazara people. درسی که خودش خوانده بود این درس دیگر به اصطلاح اعتقاد نداشت 
معتقد به علم نبود می گفت آنچه که هست این می درس است این درس باید اگر ما میخواستم که مدرسه برم او زیادتر علاقه پیدا میکرد ما باید برم مدرسه و در مدرسه درس بخوانم یک ملا ملا شد او زیادتر علاقه میکرد ولی به اساس که روز به روز جامعه پیش میره روز به روز رشد انسان ها رشد میکنه مثلا علم پیش میره به او خاطر من دیگه مدرسه را نپذیرفتم رفتم به مکتب کوشش کردم که مکتب باید تعقیب Most of the time in class here is spent memorizing the Quran. Each student must memorize all 6,666 verses to graduate. For most boys, the madrasa is the only education they will ever receive. And after the Soviet invasion, as well as later, during the long civil war, orphans came to schools like this, and the Taliban emerged from some of these schools. In Afghanistan, very few girls were allowed to receive education. This is still true today as well. As a result, most women cannot read or write their name. They don't even know their own age. The mullahs believed that girls had no need for education. دوست خلاهی که باز مور کاروسی کرد و به خیلی دیر گرفتاری خانه و سیستم و قریبی بیشتری بود اگه مورد دست رفته نمیتونستی یا طالب دغام شد بود یا یز بیاد دغام شد بود دقتش نبود آن از مقدیری بود دخانه ای دختری کلان چکار میکرد؟ مگر خوش داشتیم مکتب چطور مکتب خوش نداشتم مکتب زوار تا وقت خود خوش داشت. What I remember from childhood is our poverty, having to go to the mountain every day to gather wood, even as a child, and carry it to the village. And then I remember having to study secretly, hiding it from my father. These are memories of the time of the Zahir Shah. حتی در اولسواری همجوار یک اولان که پنجاب بود خدمت یک شطور و خدمت یک خون انسان هر دو مساوی بود در زمان حکمت زرشاه زمانی که کوچه ها می آمد به یک لل شطور رفته بود به او لل نزدیک شده بود که چیز خورده بود شد استفاده کرده بود از اون لل کسی پیدا شده بود رزده بود کشته بود باز کسی سایبای شطور رفته بود او نفر از آنم کشته بود بالاخره به حکمت که آمد خونی از شطور با خون از انسان مساوی چی شد؟ پیسه نشد یعنی اینطور نشد که مثلا با توجهی کرده باشد در موردی از انسان یا فرق, فرق گذاشته باشد اینطور نبود Daud had previously been Prime Minister of the Royal Government under King Zahir Shah, but then he joined hands with the Afghan Communist Party to seize power in 1973 through a coup d'etat. Daud assumed the office of President. The monarchy was ended and Afghanistan became a republic. This was the beginning of Afghanistan's tragedy. I was 21, a high school student at the time. Uh, 
ماده مترقی را روی کار کرد ماده مترقی یک ضربه بسیار بزرگ بود به کسای که کم زمین بود و خصوصا در ولسوالی یک اولا اکثرا زمین های خود فرو به خاطر مالیه ای که نمیتونست جبران بکنه زمین کسایی که ماده که دو جرب زمین یک جرب زمین کمتر بیشتر بود مجبور شد زمین های خود بخت باشه به زمین دارای بزرگتر و خود سبب دوش بسازه از زمین و این ماده مترقیش ضربی بسیار بزرگ بود برای مردم اولسوالی یک اولا I entered the normal school for teachers during the time of Daud's rule. My dream as a child had been to become a doctor, to help people and to have a comfortable life. But when I was in high school, my thinking changed and I decided to become a teacher instead. I wanted to help educate children for the future of Afghanistan. In 1977, at the age of 26, I graduated from the normal school and achieved my goal of becoming a teacher. The first place I taught was in the high school of Dahane Chorda in Yakaolang district. By the time I became a teacher, I had already married. I was married in 1970 at the age of 18. My parents decided this. در مورد ارزش ها مردم یک هولنگ در مجموع مردم افغانستان و خصوصا باز یک هولنگ دختر خرید فروش میشن عروسی که ما عروسی کردیم در اون دوره اجل ساله بودیم و ما هم عروسی ما به خرید فروش چه بود تعلق داشت به خاطر چی؟ به خاطر که ما به او آبایی نرسیده بودیم که دختر یا مثلا زن اهنیت داره ما نباید کنه بیخرد و از طرف دیگه اونمو اوزای اون جامعه اجام میکرد که ما باید به امون سیستم عروسی بکنیم پدر دختر یا پدر زن از ما سی از آن افغانی خواست اما اونمو افغانی رو سی از آن افغانی رو به او رساندیم بعد از او بعد از یک سال مدت یک سال بعد عروسی صورت گرفت مثلا نورستان صحبت میکنه که دخترا عموما به گوز خرید میشن و پول خرید نمیشن و ولایت کنر و گوز خرید میشن چند گوز مثلا سی گوز پنجا گوز چل گوز به اساس گوز خرید میشن تو شباز بود که اینمی عملی را که انجام میتهی دخترا را من فروش برسانن در قیمت به مثلا این عمل خوب عمل است یا بد عمل خوب است؟ گوه بشه باز؟ بعد است بعد است چی بدی دارد بشه باز؟ بخاطر که این دکتر از ما او بچه از اینا هیچ فرق نیست باید اینا یک بزر بزر بشه باز اینا را بسید دوست کنید آه شما بشه بخاطر که اردو یک انسان است اردو میخواهد زندگی بکنند این درست نیست که دکتر را به قیمت گفت باشه توافق اردو شرط است باز from the very beginning, my wife and I had to live apart, and this did not change even after I became a teacher. It was in 1978, two years after becoming a teacher, that the worst thing to happen in my lifetime would occur. جوانای مترقی یا روشنفکرای مترقی 
اینا رو میشناخت در تعقیب قرار داد و گرفتن و دستگیر کردن اول به زندان ها و بعد از اون باز زیر پریندوزر ها و اینا مدخول تاق کردن و این جنایات خلقی ها بود در اون The prison where the students were taken still exists today, just outside of Kabul. It is called the Policharki Prison. It is still used today for political prisoners, just as in those days. In fact, in every period of Afghanistan's modern history, whoever is in power puts their enemies and opponents in this prison to torture and murder them. <laughs> نایات نما این در اولیسواله ها هم بود خواست بخاطر از بین بردن روشان فکرا یا معلمین مامورین هر کسایی که مخالفشان قرار داشت لیست های ترتیب داد کلان های قوم مثلا مولاها اینا را تماما توسط لیست ها در متحد مطورای متحد المان در اولیسواله ها و نایت ها نمون کرد که در جمله در یک هولنگ هم یک سد و سی نفر درج لیست ما هم در جمله لیست آمده بود که باید نابود شه ولی خوشبختانه بود بدبختانه به هر شیوه شد شانس بودیم که نتونست موفق شه و ما را به چارچوب بندازه In the district office of Yakaolang all the civil servants were changed to Hulk party members a Hulk became principal of my school as well Six teachers, including myself, were transferred to a girls' school because we did not agree with Hulk policies. This was done to keep me under surveillance and to prevent us from having any contact with high school students. From the girls' school, I was banished to an elementary school in a little village, but this did not bother me. I believed that it was my duty to teach wherever I might be sent. This is the work of our people. In every point of Afghanistan, the violence of the people. The work of the people was very good and very good. They were very happy. مردم به هیجان آورد و, ب... و ماهیت از اینا را مردم شناخت و وابستگیشان به روسا برای علیه اینا شوریدن در ابتدا مردم خودجوش مقابل از اینا حرکت کردن مقابل خلق و ورسیم در سال 1978 اپوزیشن تو دی کامیونیست بیکیم ایون فیرسر این 1979 Finally, with the situation becoming ever more serious, in December of 1979, the Soviet army crossed through snowy mountains and invaded Afghanistan. Their goal was to overthrow the Amin government and put an end to the opposition within Afghanistan and from across its borders. <laughs> خلق روسا با مزدرای خود خلق و پرچم خانه های مردم هم کل به چپاول بردند و توسط تانکا و چیزای خود که آمد از جمله خانه برادر ما هم توسط مردم های کنسان چه توپ و اینا دروازه شد و آنچه که مال منقول و که ما داشتیم که انتقال داده می شد توسط as a result of this attack, my 75-year-old father was forced to flee into the mountains with 13 other members of his household. My father sent me a letter. In it, he said that he would take care of the family and I should go to fight the Soviets until they were driven from Afghanistan. So I joined the war. I thought that to fight the Soviet invaders was the right and normal thing to do, and that if I did not fight, I would be seen as a traitor. 
and I felt I would betray my conscience if I did not fight them. I had killed two fellow Afghanis in the Battle of Hojari Hill. I believed them to be murderers who had killed innocent people and traitors who had sold Afghanistan to the Soviets. I felt satisfied that I had revenged them for all the people they had killed. Only later did my thinking begin to change little by little. Until now, I believe that as long as we continue to fight each other with weapons, there will never be an end to war. The war against the Soviets would last a decade. In this war, one-fourth of the population of Afghanistan, six million people, would become refugees, fleeing into neighboring Iran and Pakistan. آمدن روزها یا خلق و پرچم در آنجا تأثیرات را که انداخت عمده ای بود که جبه های متحیر قومی نابود شد از بین رفت از آبای بنیادگرای سازمان نسل از ایران ترگه شد و آمد به داخل ورسوالی یک اولا زمانی که اینجا آمد بدون یکی در مقابل روزها بجنگه و در مقابل تجاوزی روز نبرد بکنه فقط جنگ های خانمانسوز داخلی را را انداخت این جنگ های خانمانسوز داخلی باعث ازی شد که صدها جوان نابود بسازد و, و یا معمول بکنه از پاها و اینا که نتانه در مقابل روز ها بجنگن After fighting the Soviets and the government army for a year, I returned home. But I feared that if the Soviets or the government army attacked Yakaulang, I would surely be executed for having joined the resistance. So in 1981, I fled from Yakaolang alone, leaving my family there. I went first to Kabul and then on to Iran. I worked as a day laborer in road and building construction. Then, after three years, in 1984, I returned to Yakaolang. But I found that war continued to rage in Yakaolang, not only between the government army and its opponents, but also among those fighting the government themselves. I lost all hope and fled again in 1986. This time I went to Pakistan. There I worked again as a day laborer in road construction in the city of Quetta. In 1988, two years after coming to Quetta, I learned about Wawa and was able to become a teacher in a Wawa school in Quetta. 
To be able to teach children again gave me new reason to live and regain hope. In Yakaolang, the life of my wife and children also regained some normalcy, but we continued to live separated. In the late 1980s, as the Soviet economy began to collapse, the Soviets came to the realization that they had no choice but to withdraw from Afghanistan. In April 1988, an international accord for Soviet withdrawal from Afghanistan was signed in Geneva, and withdrawal began in May. Afghanistan was a scorched land after 10 years of Soviet aerial bombardment and artillery campaigns. Only Kabul had been spared and was still as beautiful as before, but this was not to last much longer. As a result, Afghanistan again became a total war zone. But now, this was a war of Afghanis against Afghanis. In the Battle of Afshar, many Hazara women were captured and scalped alive by an army of the alliance of Pashtuns supporting Sayaf and Tajiks supporting Masud. Many Hazara youth were captured, taken away, and never heard from again. We don't even know where their graves are. It was amidst this political turmoil that the Taliban suddenly appeared in 1994. First, they took Kandahar and Herat. By 1995, they had gained control of half of the country and were threatening Kabul. And finally, in September of the next year, 1996, Kabul fell to the Taliban. This was the beginning of even greater tragedy for Afghanistan. طالب زمانی که آمد چی چیز با را آمد زنها را از بین قوتی ساخت اینا در بین چادری بدم مکتب را برایشان بسته کرد بازار رفتن را برایشان بسته کرد تماما ضد زن قرار گرفت زن اجازه نمیداد که عدی اقل در بازار بیاد 
سودا یا مزردیات خود از بازار به خانه خود بگرد خصوصا به او زنایی که دیگر نوناور نداشت فرزن نداشت دختر نداشت مثلا خودش مجبور بود که باید به نان خود از بازار بگرد یا همین مشکل خود از بازار رفع بگرد این سیستم ها در افغانستان پیاده کرد In Yakaolang and everywhere in Afghanistan, women had no right to education and were not allowed to walk freely outside their home. After the Soviet withdrawal, conditions for women in Yakaolang were terrible under the rule first of the Party of Islamic Unity and then of the Taliban. Even worse, every day, young girls were taken away by soldiers and raped. I feared for my daughters in Yakaolang, and so in 1995, I took them to the Kewa camp in Pakistan. There, I enrolled them in a school in the camp. But I did not discuss this with my wife first. I told her nothing. I decided this on my own, and one day just took the daughters away. After I took our daughters to Pakistan, my wife Tajiwar was left alone in Yakaolang. She became extremely depressed and unstable emotionally. Finally, I arranged to have her come to Quetta. For most of the 27 years from the time of our marriage, we had hardly lived together. At last, we were reunited. برادر و یا پاک از مرگ خدایی مرد غم ده بلی غم این وضو بادین باز کم مر یک سال دو سال یکی اینجا بودم کم اگر دوی خوشی رو دیدم باز از این چی که رفتم By 1998, the rule of the Taliban had extended to 80% of the country but Bamiyan and Mazari Sharif had not yet fallen Then in August, the Taliban army began the siege of Mazari Sharif the Northern Alliance armies of Masood and Dostum were scattered like leaves, and their soldiers fled into the mountains with several thousand frightened people from the city. The Taliban army entered the city of Mazari Sharif and killed everyone in sight on the boulevard in front of the Blue Mosque and the shrine of Hazrat Ali. This shrine was a holy site for Shias, but the Taliban army took the corpses of the massacred and threw them on the ground in front of the Blue Mosque. More than 3,000 ordinary citizens were massacred. The massacre was their revenge for the death of 2,000 Taliban soldiers killed by the Northern Alliance the previous year. This was also part of the Taliban's program of ethnic cleansing of Shias, whom the Taliban refused to recognize as true Muslims. Likewise, on the Horizori Plain outside the city, the Taliban went from village to village, taking the young men and killing them all. Most who were killed were Hazara.
میری چطور کشته شدن اینا چطور شد؟ اینا همش پدر از خانهشان کشید با او دینه میجا کشته شد مادر امی طالب های داره کشته هم همش طالب های کشته هم از خودشان از طرف چیم کال آمد از طرف کل که اوقال خوده چیم کال آمد از این من دیشم خوب همین من دیشم One month later, in September, Bamiyan, the stronghold of the Party of Islamic Unity, fell to the Taliban. Bamiyan was the home of archaeological treasures, the famous stone Buddhas carved in the mountainside. At first, the Taliban put dynamite on the head of the smaller Buddha and destroyed its face. Three years later, the Taliban would completely destroy both Buddhas. With the fall of mazar e sharif and Bamiyan, the Taliban now controlled 90% of the country. The Taliban controlled all information, so almost nothing was known about life under the Taliban. The Taliban claimed that security had improved, but this was security based on terror, fear of being secretly reported to the Taliban and becoming subject to their draconian Islamic fundamentalist punishments. Women beggars became numerous on the streets. Widows who had lost their husbands in the war against the Soviets or in the civil war were prohibited from working. Begging was the only way they could survive. By the year 2000, Taliban rule had extended to 95% of the country. Even Bamiyan, the stronghold of the Party of Islamic Unity, had fallen to the Taliban. My wife and I thought that security would improve in our home of Yakaolang, and that summer we returned home. It had been 15 years since I had left Yakaolang but Yakaolang had not yet succumbed to the Taliban. Yakaolang is home to many Sayyids, a minority sub-ethnic group within the majority Hazara. The Hazaras who belonged to the party of Islamic unity were not Sayyids and did not even recognize Sayyids as fellow Hazaras. After losing Bamiyan, the party of Islamic unity tried to bring Yakaolang under their control but the Taliban wanted to bring Yakaolang under their own control. From time to time, skirmishes would occur between the Party of Islamic Unity and the Taliban. Each time there was a battle, each side suspected that villagers were aiding the other side. So they would punish villagers to teach the whole village a lesson not to aid their enemy. For us and for everyone living in Yakaolang, both the Party of Islamic Unity and the Taliban were equally our enemies.
Yaş sot post mu sot post mu çarptırdı. Kişiş rahatsız ama doksan ama mi az da, kendi merkez payı ne mi? Zaten ne diye? Ki mi demizi, duy duy kahani az mu yemi ter kendi demizi gumbazi oluyor. Yani mi ter ifayır kat. Demizi ay no ki zaten şiş o unci ko kahani şiş bandiye. Ki mi zaten ama iş ma i iş ne budi diye joy bud. Yani mi layla ki non dora. Yani mi قرار امروی از ما بود که این یامت ما دا یک وطا غمی تر بودم این مشتقای لیلا دا بغل ما بود این دا گوره بود و این گوره کشیدم این دا بغل خود گرشتم این بچه شده این دختر شپس پشت خود گرشتم این مرمی شده قص آمد این زد مرسی مرسی رو این اینها رو دروازه مروازه رو پخصی دیوال این رو زد لب لب که لب لب کرد ما یک ایمی تر کمره اگه دیوال بود دموزو کنجگت اما تر شیش دو شیش دم خواب و دو دوی ترا بسیار تاریک کردی گفتم اگه دو مرمی دیگه آمد ام میگیرم و شاید ای بیخی پخصا خوش میکنم یعنی بچه ایزی اشتوک بودی دا بقل ما چک 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 سلفر میکنم وقتا ای خواب شد ای که خواب شد دا دیگه دا دیگه قریه زد یک دو سه مرمی رو اونجی زد دیگه ای شام شد ای که شام شد این شوال غرض ندادی مردا از دکان ها و از دیگه جای ها و از اینجا پس آمد است از علاف و از دیگه جای از از جای که جمع آمد بیگا برکی دشان مک جمع میشه که جمع میشه سبار در میزیز قد در عفت بجه بود در عفت بجه بود که یک را تالی بارس زمانی که من دستگیر شدم از خانه مرا کشید من در خانه خود هم نبودم میخواستم برم جای دیگه ای دادم کوها برایم خلاصه از خانه بیادر مرا گرفت زمانی که مرا گرفت دستای ما بسته کرد دی بچای کاکایم و تعداد دیگری از قریه اینا تماما همراه ما بود دوازده نفر دیگه خود دستای ما پشت سر ما بسته بود زمانی که رسیدیم به پول که میخواستم از پول بریم ما را لدو کوب کرد به زور در یاد داخل کرد و خودشان هم سرشان های ما ما از دریا عبور دادیم اینا را فقط از, اول... از من قریه تا اولسوالی را که دو کیلومتر را بود یعنی دو هزار متر را بود اینا ما را زده زده توسط قنداخ کلشن کوف چوب و مشت و لگت با اینا ندو کوف میکرد و اقتداد میانداخت روی زمین میفتید و باز برز و پس بالا میکرد میزد و اول تا تعمیر اولسوالی اینجا که اول درا از ما سوال کرد که تو چی کار هستی تو قماندان هستی چیستی من گفتم من قماندان هستم و کدام کاری دیگه من نظامی را میفهمم ما افراد نظامی نیستم گفت چی کار هستی من گفتم من معلم بودم در این مکتب کس دیگه هم شهادت داد که معلم است و از طرف دیگه باز پرسان کرد که تو چی هستی شی هستی سونی تو چی فارق هستی من گفتم من سونی هستم ولی تاجیک هستم یک علت که من نجات پیدا کردم و شانس آوردم که نکشتن طالبا این بود که بعد از او باز داخل اولسوالی شدیم اینجا اینا با این خود مشاره کرد و یک بچی دیگه هم امرای من بود او معلم بود و هم او هم از مدیت تاجک بود باز او کسایی را میشناخت او نام گرفت و بعد از او بالاخره ما دو تا نجات یافتیم یازده تایی دیگه ما را بود در پیش روی ما تیر باران کرد و زمانی که 
تی کلشان کوب زعبه میکرد او وقت باز پایین میشش دستای خود تره به آسمان بلند میکرد خدا ای جهاد از ما قبول کدو این انسان کشتن انسان نابود کردن باز دست خودم بالا کنه که توی از ما قبول کنه که ای جهاد است موسیقی امی تر چرچور کرد، امی تر میگرده. ما گفتم که یه البته لحظه کرده. ای تر خبر ندارم که یه تایفه ازی پاک کشته، کشته شده، شیش شده. یه خبر ندارم. ایران بعد ازو توانستم که یک کدات از موسیقیان خریا که واقعی مانده بود کشته نشده بود، نبیم خواست بیکم باز شناسایی کنم اشتباه شنا. یا اشتباه بوده در داخل خریا باز در خریا اونجی دفع بود. اول شناساییش بسیار مهم بود بسیار نمیت... با سادگی نمیتونست شناسایی کنه به خاطری که اکثرا به مغز زده بود و یک تعداد اگر میتونست به اساس اون مو لباس و دریشی و چیزایش شناسایی کنه ما تا سی روز تا سمینار شناسایی بکنیم و از بعد از اون درخواستی بتیم و موتر بگیریم و توسط موتر و اشتال انتقال بگیریم که اشتال بعد از سی روز انتقال دادیم به داخل قریه ما چولی دروازه اول امتر انتسایل کدوم که یک موتر میه وقتا فکر نکدوم گفتم البته جاکسانای طالبای موتراس طالبای تو کدوم که امتر آمد تو در استودی چی سونی خانی ما امتر آمد که آمد یک رنگ بود بسیار اما از اونجا دوش نداشتم من نمانده گی امی پایلوش خیس کدوم که خیس خیس کدوم که این موتر یک رنگ بوده چی گاب است در اکروگ شین دادم وقتا زیاد آه یک چند نفر دیگه یک مردگی پیر می سفید است او آمد گفت که یه نه چیه مردا کشتش داده پیش دیگه کس گفته ده پیش دیگه او تن داره گفته ده مردا رو یک جای کشته ای زنا به طاقه شد یا گریان کده خانی از ما آمد که مگه میگی کشتش ده یک کس نمان ده پاک شهید شده ما گفتم این مال نفر آمده شهید نشده خودی کاکای ده آمده ای دیگه که کاکا گفتم که خود چی آمده گفت خود دیگه آمی شاید نشده ای از موتار و ای از کشتاری زیاد میاد خبر ندهی. یوسفی گم گشت بازایت با کنام غم مخورایت با کنام غم مخور کل وای هزان شوار روزی گلستان غم مخور روزی گلستان غم مخور ای دلی غم دید حالت به شود دل بات مکن به شود دل بات مکن وین سری شوری د بازایت با سمان غم مخور آیت با سمان غم مخور گار و هوری امرو باشد باز بر تختی چمن باز بر تختی چمن چتری گل در سر کشی ای مرغی خوشخان غم مخور ای مرغی خوشخان غم مخور از هجومی به کسی ها دل زی کف به جامده دل زی کف به جامده شما چی جواب میتن؟ مگم که میام پدر تو شهید نشده از دورو هم تو یه بازی میتونم بعض وقت هم میام مگه اینجی میشه نگریم کنم مگه میفهمم که می قبر پدرش است. میفهمم. آره دیدی یا که من دپش میکشت؟ پیش روی تن کی بود؟ انوار مگه تو چی من نزار؟ از یه وار خلاصیم. خو چند ساله بودم؟ اجدا ساله. از شما اینکه کسی کشته شده در موقع؟ آره اینیم شوهر مایا، دوماد مایا خوب، نامت چی بود؟ نامش سیدوی بی شهید 
سعی دیوی بشه درست درست باز اینه چطور از داخل خانه بردن یا بیرون دستگیرش کرده بود؟ از خانه بردن نفامیدی کندن نتستی چلله بود برف بود خونه بود اوش که مقشدی گرفت از خانه پاک دستایش بسته کد زدر کفته برد مجالت نداد در کش درد بار کد اما تو کن بردید کجا کدید لاف میزد که ما کشده مردار کده امی شوار شما را چطور شهید کرد مثلا در سینهش مرمی خورده بود در پشت در تمام جانش مرمی خورده سرش بسیار تکه پارچه کرده یک سال تقریبا پیش بود امی ترارفا رو با ما میزد آره که ما شهید میشیم ما گفتیم نه تو چجور شهید میشیم ما خواب خود دیدیم ما چند تا نفر شهید میشیم این اگر شهید نشدیم باز امی گرد ما در پیش تو بود من یادگاری این امی یادگاری در پیش ما اونم گرد و موضوع من دین امی مگم آفرین که تو امی ترفا میدی بودی دانستی بودی دین تنگی غریبی گریه ناله دیگه چی چاره کنیم هستیم دیگه نسی نیازو کوچک ترانا سهل میکنیم خدایا یا که جای ازا رو پر کنه که بید جای ازا بینشینه و صحبت کنه و حرف بزنه این امی رقم هستی حالی که قریه که خالی هست خانه ها خالی هست همی نفر ایسا پرست که نبود اونو خالی هست دیگه حالی ما کسی ما این میه یک لازه گریان میکنی بسیار زدن میکنی بلی تاکه ها بود تاکه تیر بود خوب بود وطن خوب بود آقل خوب بود خانه خوب بود این حالی هست یک روزگاری این دفعه که آدم به یک نازی دنیسه با خواب کنه I had barely survived with my life. I thought that the next time they would surely kill me. I decided that the only way I could stay alive was to flee from the village. So I left the village with my wife and other villagers who had likewise escaped death. We set out for Peshawar, Pakistan. Our goal was the refugee camp where I had sent my daughters to live. موسیقی بگو شما سر چه وقت میخواید دوباره چه وقت دوباره به افغانستان بگو؟ من بشه همین لحظه میخوام اراده دارم که باید افغانستان برم ولی نمیتوانم به خاطر که تمام وسایل زندگی خانه یه چیزای ما از بین رفته بغارت رفت کشت و باغ و اینا همه سختانده شد بالاخره حتی مکتباره هم در دادن تمام اینا به اون نسبت من هم میتونم که دا برم در افغانستان و علت مهمی که است فعلا حزب وحدت بنیادگرای حزب وحدت وحدت اسلامی هنوز هم مسلطه در منطقه ما از لحاظ امنیتی در اونجا مسئول نیستیم در هر جایی که باشیم به ضرر ما تمام میشه در نقطه یک اولاد من من هست 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 درس دارد به خاطر درس تعلیم خود و به خاطر در یک اولنگ هم که زندگی میتون به خاطر وطن مثل از وطن خود کس بشنه میتون خارزان شاهی هم نگه بوریه رو شکست میتون و بعدا نگه که خانه خارزان شاهی هم چنگی چه خوش دارم هم یک اولنگ خوش دارم به خاطر که وطن ماست و جای ماست اما از یک طرف دیگه مکتب نیست در اینجا خوش هستم به خاطر که مکتب سه میخوان ممنیت هست اما در افغانستان جمعیت نیست لومبه لیوانه ورته بود سکه دوه همه لیوانه ورته بود ویریدم چه میخ دید 
ما عارف خدمت مكتب وس كان بحشت ما خترس مكتب وس درس وس درس ميخان ده ده كارن كبر من جمع مكتب من باش درس نيم باش مجبور است دخان آلان بشه من دیگه ده كارن كس تو كارم كردن ممكن كدوم وظيفه خاصم بردم پیدا نمیشه بگن بنان بنه خاطر مكتب بحشت من دیگه سه كه ده كارن كه ده كارن من مكتب این دیگه حالا تا پیش بینی کردن نمیکنم پیش بینی کردن تا نشون میدم چیزی که میخوایم درس کنیم و اگر این ملت ها به هم بیاید یک پارچه شود و جور بیاره اصطلاح وحدت بکنه به او خاطر میتونه که هیچ کشور سر از این تجاوز نکنه آن کشور در حالت پارچه پارچه شدن میدنه به خاطر چی؟ به خاطر که تضاد های ملیتی و اینا این تخم نفاق در اونجا پاشده این تضاد ها وجود داره به او خاطر نمیتونه که چی شود اینا ره زمانه که تمام ملیت ها عزبز، هزاره، تاجی، پشتون، بلوچی، بلوچ و پشتی و نورستانی و حتی یهود و یندوی افغانستان که با هم وضع خود جور بکنه این کسایی که نظرات نامناسب یا چه خود از جبر و ستم برای مردم قبول میکنن یا آنهایی که مخالف مدت های غیر خود هستند یا اون کسایی که به منافع شخصی خود بیشتر حرکت میکنه و در نظر میگیره یا کسایی که زنا را انسان نمیدانند اینها با هم چه شود با خود بساده اینه تغییر بیتر خود تغییر بیتر در جامعه او وقت است که هیچ کشور دیگه نمیتونه بالای کشور ما تجاوز بکنن و افغانستان یک افغانستان متحد و شکوفا جور میشه و حق هم داره که تمام ملت های افغانستان با رفا و آرامی در افغانستان زندگی بکنن میر ما به سراغ اونمو وطن زیبای خود یا همو و رسواده سیبایی که او یک هولنگ است یک هولنگ خیلا از برف پوشید است ولی کم کم آهسته آهسته گرم بشن این برف ها جای خود با یک سهزه و گل میتن بالاخره سرزمین بسیار سیبا و سرسبز میشه بعد از مدت چند روز زادگاه خوب و زادگاه قشنگ ما فقط درخت ها جامعه سبز می پوشن گل ها می روید و چمن ها سرسبز می شه آب دریا ها لبریز می شه دره ها و کوه های سرسبزش گوزفند ها می چره این کشور این زادگاه خوب و قشنگ و محبور ماست یکدست دست داری که فکر کنم دوست داری یا چطور دست ندارم؟ اون هم میاد دست ندارم یا دیگه من هم ما بومرم دست نیم نیست سخت است. یا گر که اون هم پردازی نیست، اون هم کامو کدتر دوست دارم. هر چی نکشی دادم دیگه شدم باز دادی ما دوست. همچون بادام 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 دو دو مغزی دو مغزی همچون بادام مغزی دوستان تو هم خوش است 
garam garam joshi garam joshi hoy boz didi millat as millat as boisi boisi tauhidu fikri wa wa moyayi jamiyat as dishi yonadum bas